they still don't know whether it was my heart caused my kidney failure or because my kidneys were failing, it caused my heart to fail. Because his heart was increasingly losing its ability to pump the blood. His forecast was I probably wouldn't be on this earth much more than two months at that point in time. Yeah, he actually said, um, I wish I could tell you you have two months, but I can't. And while we were in his office, Dr. Sarajah called. He was extremely excited. And as we all were to give him the good news that if Larry were willing uh, to come up to Minneapolis and, and, and participate in the study, that we have something that could help him. I mean, it was <laughs> a miracle. thought Larry could be a, a great candidate for this new therapy, uh, which was transcatheter mitral valve replacement. It was just like everything fell into place, just in the nick of time, you know. When Dr. Shraja and Dr. Goodwin presented the, the little sliver of light through the wall, saying this is a way to escape through and bloom and see the sunshine, um, there was no hesitation on taking it. I trust both Dr. Goodwin and I trust Dr. Sraja even more because he's the recent one who allowed me to see the sunshine. These patients are doing so well, and this this study is doing so well, and the valve is doing well, um, but it wouldn't be if it wasn't for people like Larry. And thanks to him and Diane, we now have something that can benefit and affect, uh, in a positive way, millions of people around the world. We still are, you know, growing and discovering new things, and we have seven grandchildren uh, aged 18 through one, <laughs> the, the five oldest are, are within four years of each other. It's just really a, a good life. <laughs>